Hi, my name is Donald Lurie, and I am proud to be a member of the DuPage Symphony Orchestra. If you've been to our concerts, you may have seen me sitting towards the back of the group playing this, my bass clarinet. I love playing bass because of the depth and richness it adds to our woodwind sound. If you're not familiar, here's an example. <laughs> That's a solo from the third movement of Mahler's first symphony, a piece we are all very sorry we didn't get to play for you this season. While playing the bass clarinet is my official job with the DuPage Symphony, in my 12 seasons I've played a variety of clarinets, and I'd like to share a bit about them. Mechanically, they all work pretty much the same. The approach to blowing them is a little different from one to the other, but they're more similar than they are different. What I have here is an alto clarinet. As far as I know, this is used exclusively in band music. I've never played it in the DuPage Symphony, but here's what it sounds like. <laughs> of the orchestra are these two, the B-flat and A clarinets. You'll notice that the A is slightly bigger. So when you play a note on the A, it sounds a half step lower than the same note played on the B-flat. Over here you have a C clarinet, and the C sounds a whole step higher than the same note played on the B-flat. Well, why do we have all these clarinets? Back in the day, we didn't have all this fancy key work that you see here. So in order to play acceptably in all keys without having awkward or impossible fingerings, clarinetists needed a whole bunch of different instruments. These days, with modern key work, which developed towards the end of the 1800s, we're able to manage mostly with just the A and the B flat. Nowadays, with modern key work, it's possible to play pretty much anything we need to on these two, the A and the B flat. But to show you the pitch difference, I'm going to play the same note in open G on first the A, then the B flat, and then the C. Here's the A. Now the B flat. And the C. Same note, different pitched clarinets. Well, what if you don't have a bunch of clarinets? What if all you have is the B-flat? Well, then you have to read the music and for an A part, play it a half step lower than is written. And for a C part, play it a whole step higher than is written. That's something we all learn to do. It's called transposition. But it can get tricky. So having a variety of clarinets to play in the DuPage Symphony is very helpful. At the opposite extreme from the bass clarinet is this, the E-flat clarinet. Think of it as the piccolo of the clarinet family. Its usual job in the orchestra is to play high and loud. Here is a solo from Stravinsky's tone poem, The Rite of Spring. See what I mean? High and loud. I hope you've enjoyed learning some fun things about the clarinet in its various shapes and sizes. On behalf of all of us in the DuPage Symphony, I look forward to seeing you soon from the stage of Wentz Hall. Be safe and well, and keep listening to great music. <laughs>